The Rose Ladies Series is back at JCB Golf and Country Club. After the huge success of last year's event, we return once again. There are fans in attendance, over 1,000 of them. 15 places up for grabs in final qualifying for the AIG Women's Open. Plus, of course, the coveted Rose Ladies Series title. Who's going to get their hands on that trophy today? It's the seventh event of the season and another fantastic venue for the ladies to compete at. The sun was shining early on, but the forecast wasn't great for later in the day. Gemma Driver was feeling good after a busy summer playing on the LPGA and LET tours. It's been good. I uh, made a few cuts and did well last week in Northern Ireland, so it's been good. I um, uh, played a lot of events, so it's been fun to get lots of golf, you know, uh, compared to last year. So, yeah, it's been a good run of events. Amateur Kirsten Rudgley was heading into her Rose Lady Series debut on red hot form, having won the English Women's Amateur and Scottish Amateur Open in recent weeks. I didn't expect to be uh, doing this well, um, but having a win anyway is awesome, and especially overseas. As soon as I got the message to say I could uh, have a go, I thought, oh, awesome experience. Um, there's no, obviously, there's a spot in the Open um, if I do manage to qualify, but um, yeah, I'm just going to take everything under the wing. Jay Bowers won the last event at Royal Birkdale and she was prepared for a serious challenge. It's tough. It would be a good test of golf today. The length of it, the greens, the pin positions. There isn't a hole that you can miss on or you can afford to hit a bad shot. So you've got to be on your game, you've got to be focused and I'm looking forward to it then. I'm off the tee, uh, you need to place the ball well on the green depending where the pin is um, and the putts can be quite sloppy as well. So it's a bit of a challenge for everything. The signature 17th hole is stunning, but a potential card wrecker. I try to take one a hole at a time, but yeah, it has been on my mind, but um, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Royal Birkdale champion Bowers made a horror start with a triple bogey at the first. She played this lovely approach at the second, but two more bogeys at three and six saw her out in 40 shots. It was a better start for Gemma Clues, who nailed this birdie putt on the opening hole. Yeah. Much to the delight of the galleries, she struggled to kick on as she rode the bogey train from the fifth to the tenth. Whitney Hillier bounced back from a bogey on one with this confident birdie on the 322 yard second. JCB Golf and Country Club is a tough course though, and the Aussie slipped to three over through seven holes. Janette Vanasayan goes by the nickname Proud in her native Thailand. She lost in the playoff at Royal Birkdale and continued her impressive form with a birdie on two and set up another birdie on the par five third with this lovely chip shot. Kennesaw State University graduate Dulcie Sverdloff capped off a strong front nine with this 25-footer for birdie. The Essex golfer already had a birdie at three and a bogey at six, and she was one under par. Caroline Inglis is a regular on the LPGA Tour and finished tied 22nd at last year's AIG Women's Open. The American hit this fantastic approach to the elevated green at the first hole. She'd make the putt for birdie and had pars at the next seven. Driver was coming in off a good tied 17th finish in the ISPS Handa World Invitational on the Ladies European Tour. And she made the ideal start. This kick in birdie at the opening hole. Scots woman Driver also birdied the eighth and she's leading on two under par. Katrina Gillam has set the early clubhouse target with a 72. Here is the leader Driver on the ninth tee. You can see the background, the trees there, the wind is blowing. It's blustery at JCB Golf and Country Club today.
Great for line, but just a yard or so out. If that had carried a touch more, she'd have got it up over that little ridge. Can Rudgley get it onto the correct tier? This young Australian's having an incredible year. Not only winning those two events we mentioned over here, but also picking up trophies back at home in Australia. She just about gets it on the correct tier. Sverdlov at level par. Her second here into the 12th. It is drivable, this hole, but she's chosen to lay it up. Looks like a decent decision. A little bit safe, but she will have an attempt at birdie. And here's what driver left herself. You can see that tier just in front of her. And she never got it travelling up there with enough pace. I think she knew early on she hadn't quite hit it. Well, Bowers has gone for the green on the 12th and she's hit it here. An absolutely magnificent effort. This for Eagle to get back to one over par. Well, you could see the subtle little double break there. Hopefully she'll be rewarded for her aggression. Great to see the fans out. Over 1,300 of them. Sverdlov. We saw her play this 12th in a different way. Can she still make the birdie? Not quite, just straightened at the end. There is a lot of break on these JCB greens. You are going to get double breakers, plenty of tears. Oh, Rudgley ran her birdie effort a good three or four feet past. But no problem, a little fist pump as well. Now Bowers hopefully to tidy up and get the reward for that aggressive play off the 12th tee. And that's exactly what she does. Back to two over par for our most recent champion. Emily Price now. Well, we've said the clubhouse lead is set at level par 72. If she can get up and down from here, she would go one better on 18. Oh, and she just falls foul of that little ridge in front. It's not a big portion of the green where that pin is cut up there. Now the American English for her birdie. Oh, unlucky little bend of the knees, but it just slides by on the low side. She's over here for a little run of events in the British Isles. The Trust Golf Women's Scottish Open coming up next week. This is Price's birdie effort for a 71 in the clubhouse lead. Oh, and she's run that by. She's got work to do now just to get in on the 72. Brewerton has found the correct tier on the ninth, the downhill par three. About 30 feet for her birdie. Oh, go in, it does. Used every bit of energy in its very last breath to fall in on the left-hand side, but that is the Welsh woman back to one over par. Of course, she won at Brockenhurst Manor in a playoff earlier this season. Come on, Emily Price, tidy this one up. Yeah, that's a really good putt from five feet. And she ties Gillam in the clubhouse with that 72 level par here at JCB Golf and Country Club. She won't be happy with the amount of work she's left herself here for par. Oh, and there was just no real commitment to that stroke. Never seemed to get the ball rolling at the hole. And that's a drop shot for Inglis. Driver and Giles share the lead, but there's just a couple of shots covering all 10 players on the leaderboard. Really is great to see the fans supporting the Rose Lady Series and all the players here at JCB Golf and Country Club. There were more than 1,300 people watching the action in Staffordshire. As well as following the competitors, there was also a spectator village with the opportunity for youngsters to try the sport for themselves. 
Absolutely wonderful to see. Whitney Hillier got the clubbing right on the downhill par three ninth. A little bit to the right, but absolutely hole high. A solid par here and birdies at 12 and 13 would get the 30 year old with four top sevens in five starts on this year's series moving in the right direction. Keely Chiricato was having a tough day, but she fired this absolute stunner on the 17th. Three birdies on the back nine helped her to a 78. 2015 English women's amateur champion Samantha Giles dropped a shot at the seventh and followed that with three pars. She had work to do to avoid dropping another shot on 11, but this hold putt kept her at one under par. Australian Rudgley had 13 pars and two bogeys to her name after 15 holes. And she got a red number on the card thanks to this super approach to the left to right dogleg 16th. There were eight Thai players in the field and Aprichaya Yubol was performing the best of the bunch. She made the turn in one over, but a birdie at 12 got her back to even. And this beautifully judged pitch enabled her to move under par at the par 5 13th. Wales' is Brewerton parred the 10th and she used the slope and her impressive control of the spin to work this one into about eight feet. That would be one of five pars to start the back nine. What about the co-leader Drybra? She parred the 10th and 11th holes before moving serenely into the solo lead with this three on the drivable par four 12th, much to the delight of the large gallery following her. Inglis made her move after the turn. A birdie at 10 got her to minus one. She chose to lay up off the 12th, but she still made a three, courtesy of spinning this approach into four feet. No laying up for Hannah Ralph, though. The West Sussex native went for the green on 12. She landed it right where she needed to, and on it rolled to five feet. Inglis now tops the pile with a fourth birdie of the day at the tough 15th, taking her to minus three. Ubol has joined Drybra, a shot back at two under. The 17th is the signature hole here at JCB Golf and Country Club. And well, it's pretty easy to see why, isn't it? An absolutely spectacular downhill par three to a green surrounded by water. Utterly terrifying if you're playing the tee shot though. It's 183 yards today, plays about 15 yards downhill, but it is into the prevailing wind. That pin today where it's cut, there's a little tier that can act as a backboard just long of it but expect the players to aim just left into the dead center of the green. I think we're going to see a lot of drama here today. Rudgley has reached that 17th hole. Oh, look at all those fans in the background. Magnificent to have them in, on site. Those clouds up there are looking ominous, but that is a fine shot from Rudgley. You won't see too many closer than that on this hole today. Oh, and the brollies are up. That is not a good sign. Well, driver told us before the round, this hole would be on her mind. So what's she got off the tee? You can see she's using a hybrid. So that tells you just how long it's playing right now. Oh, and I think that was a splash. She used plenty of club and it still wasn't enough. You can hear the wind it's playing into. Brewerton with her second shot from the first cut of rough on 16. And like we've seen a few times today, players not quite getting it onto the correct tier. Can Inglis though? And a very similar result for the 27-year-old American. 
driver's already won two Rose Lady Series titles. Those came last year, but she's visiting the drop zone on 17. Absolutely vital for her hopes she gets up and down from here. Well, and she's given herself every chance. 15 spots in final qualifying for the AIG Women's Open available this week. So plenty to play for, but it's the trophy that's on Caroline Inglis's mind. And she'll need to be a bit more aggressive than that with the putter if she's going to get her hands on it at the end of the day. Rajli for birdie after that fine tee shot on 17. No two, but it's a great time for Australian women's golf at the moment. Minji Lee winning the Evian Championship recently. Steph Kiriakou coming through on the Ladies European Tour as well. She's playing with Sophie Stone in the background there and Gemma Drybra, one of the real marquee groups. And this is for Drybra to just drop the one shot. And she salvages the bogey after visiting the water. She's at one under par, but with Inglis also in a little bit of trouble. Fighting for her bogey. You can see her marker there just short of the hole on 16. Can Brewerton make a better job of this approach putt? Oh, yes, she can. She can hole it. That's absolutely magnificent from the Welsh woman. She's been so consistent this year on the Rose Lady series, and she's right in this now at one under par. Yeah, lovely to see her smiling again. It's been a tough few years for the former Solheim Cup player. She's back enjoying her golf again. Inglis will not enjoy that, though. We saw her miss a similar putt a little earlier. She just looks a little bit tentative while holding out. The expression on the face says it all. Which one of the top four is going to emerge from this volatile closing stretch at JCB Golf and Country Club on top? Panarat Tanapol Bunyaras made birdie at the par five finishing hole by getting her third shot all the way back to the flag. It was one of three red numbers to go with four bogeys in a very solid 73. Fellow Ty Ubol slipped back to one under on the 16th Made it back-to-back -back bogeys with this miss on 17. The par on 18 closed out an even par 72. Another player who fell foul of a tough closing stretch was Samantha Giles, who bogeyed 14. Left this par effort agonisingly short on 17. She would also have to settle for a 73. At 17th, claimed yet another victim as Inglis found the water off the tee and compounded the error with this miss on the way to a costly double bogey. Par at the 18th, and she signed for a 72. Driver wasn't able to get her third shot onto the same tier as the pin on 18. She too putted for par and a 71. Brewerton dropped a shot at the penultimate hole but she clawed herself back to one under with an impressive birdie on the 18th green. The experience of Brewerton and Drybra came to the fore on a tricky day in Staffordshire. Ubol continues in press, adding a tied third to her seventh at Royal Birkdale and 10th at Hillside. It's a fourth playoff of the season on the Rose Ladies Series here at JCB Golf and Country Club. Gemma Dryber and Becky Brewerton could not be separated over 18 holes. So here we come to the ninth. It's a beautiful little par three, 147 yards. As you can see behind me, some serious bunkering around that putting service. But the subtle danger here is a false front just three yards short of that pin. They've got to get it back there. I think a birdie's going to be needed to win this one, but who's going to find it? Kate Rose did the draw, and it was Brewerton who had the honour on the tee. Both players hit the green, and it was the Scottish woman to putt first for the two. 
but it never had the legs and pulled up three feet short. That left Brewerton with this putt to win. It looked good for a while, but it just stayed out. Both players tidied up for a par and headed back to the tee. Kate Rose enjoying her day out, taking a bit of shelter in the trees there. So same order as first time around. Brewerton with the honour. Well, she's speaking to it. Pretty decent result. She'll hold a birdie putt in regulation from a very similar spot, so she should know what it's going to do. Just a little eight iron for here for Driver. Just trying to flight it in, take a little bit of spin off. The greens are soft. She's looking anxious. It has just missed the left-hand side of the green, so a decision to make, putt or chip. The rain's starting to come down now. Let's have a little look at the schedule. Of course, JCB today, we've still got Scott's Craig later this week and North Hants, Buckinghamshire and Bearwood Lakes for the grand final to finish things off in September. Well, she's opted for the putter. How's it going to go through those first few feet? It seemed to roll quite nicely. Very nicely. Oh, in it goes. Oh, and her dad, John, on the back, he's loving it, punching the air with the umbrella. Oh, smiles for Drybro. What a birdie, and that piles the pressure on Brewerton now. Oh, a little slow mo of the fist pump. Yeah, that one was not expected. A brilliant putt. Can Brewerton hold this 30 footer to extend the playoff? No, she gave it a good run, but it's not to be, and it's Gemma Dreibra, who is your Rose Lady Series winner here at JCB Golf and Country Club. A lovely moment, a great hug for Dad John on the bag, and what a way to win it. Yeah, I mean, it was quite a long putt. I'm not quite sure how, it must have been a good 30 feet, plus 30 feet, um, off, just off the green. Uh, it had about a foot of break in it. But um, I said after the, the first putt, I was going to get it to the hole this time because I left it short in the first playoff hole. So I got it to the hole and it went in, so it was perfect. As well as a third Rose Ladies Series win for Drybra, she also claimed one of 15 spots in the final qualifying for the AIG Women's Open. That was my main goal today, is to get one of those spots. So I'll be at Panmuir for the final qualifier, so in about a week and a half. Uh, so really looking forward to that and hopefully get into Carnoustie. It was a dramatic finish here at JCB Golf and Country Club, but it was Gemma Dreiber who emerged victorious. That magnificent birdie putt on the second playoff hole, sealing her third Rose Lady Series victory. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.